left wing, right wing, blah, 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 liberal, conservative. I mean, come on, really? I don't think people are really as different as they want us to believe. So we're talking to Tyson Rupp and Chris Hudson of Thunderbird. Thunderbird. The band. The band. You prefer the band Thunderbird or just Thunderbird? Thunderbird. Thunderbird. That's it. Clean. Okay. And how long have you been Thunderbird? Just under a year. November will be our one year anniversary. Cool. For the ac actual formation. Started writing the songs a half a year before spring of 2013. Okay. And we're obviously missing two other band members right now for yes. this interview, but for now we'll, we'll get them later. That's right. They'll be around at some point. And who are we missing? Chris Singer, Max Allen. Chris is the drummer, correct? Mm -hmm. And Max is? Um, guitarist. The guitarist. Okay. Um, what genre would you say Thunderbird would fall into in the industry? I would say Pop rock. R&B influenced pop rock. With a Southwest flavor. With a Southwest flavor. <laughs> we haven't explored, we haven't really explored the Southwest. Like a picante sauce on it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. More, more of a sriracha sauce. Extra, extra spicy. <laughs> um, so, Chris, what kind of background do you come from I mean, where, what is your main influence oh. as a keyboard player? Keyboard, I would say probably Stephen Wonder. Um, I grew up on a completely opposite end of the spectrum doing R&B and hip hop is where I started out, where my foundation is. And so that music is, at least in its current condition, it's mostly studio made. There are aren't a lot of full bands that are getting together making making it anymore. It's mainly one person or maybe two people, two producers that make the music and there'll be a singer that comes in or a rapper that'll come and lay lyrics and sing basically over the top. Right. And so my <clears throat> wanting to be become a producer for a long time, ever since uh, Kind of Timbaland came on the scene. The uh, that song, uh, I think it's called "Try Again." It has like this kind of crazy bass line that uh, wasn't being done really in pop music, and uh, that was the first thing that kind of alerted me to how big a role the producers play. And so I was like, ah. And that was, of course, it came out when I was like 12 or 13. I was like, that's what I want to be. So I want to make that kind of music. And uh, that's what I've been doing for ever since then. So my background, background is in production. Okay. Professional sound. And Tyson. Yes. What molded you to where you're at this point? Um, as a guitar player, when I first started, I, I wanted to to learn to play guitar for primarily the purpose of songwriting, because I was very focused on on <clears throat> the creation process. wasn't looking to be a guitar virtuoso. wasn't looking to be a guitar player. I was uh, means to an end to again be able to write and make great songs and throughout the years uh, working 
that craft, I got better with the guitar and learned theory and rhythm, soloing, lead, everything. Um, which which definitely helps. I mean, the more tools you have in your tool toolbox, the better carpenter you are. So, um, and the more fun it is. The more fun it is. So I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the the focus for me has always been on the song, which is maybe different than a lot of musicians. I think many musicians out there get caught up with musicianship over song, mm -hmm. and that's never been me. It's always been song first. Um, thus had the ability to sit back and whether it be music or art just absorb it and how does it make me feel you know some people can't do that they can't they can't say okay this is making me feel a certain way because of this and that and the other um, I've always been able to do it. it's been natural for me so when I listen to the song I'm like I can immediately jump into that song and that emotion and even pick it apart as to why. Um. Left wing, right wing, blah, blah, blah. Liberal, conservative. I mean, come on, really? I don't think people are really as different as they want us to believe. Sing it right. 